guys, today we're going to talk about a famous psychology experiment which uses a simple bell. This is called Pavlov's Classical Conditioning in Dogs. Before we talk about how Pavlov's dog experiment helps humans, let's talk about how humans can help dogs. And I want to thank this video sponsor, which is Pet Meds, America's most trusted pet pharmacy. And they carry all of your dog's anxiety medications that they might need. I'm going to put a link in my description below so you guys can click on it and go shop online for your pets. So today we're going to talk about classical conditioning, which was created by a Russian psychologist named Ivan Pavlov in the early 1900s when he was doing experiments on dogs using a bell to study their digestive tract. And he didn't know what his experiment was going to uncover. Ivan Pavlov noticed that the dogs in his lab would start salivating before they were even given food from the smell of it or hearing the kibble drop in the bowl. This intrigued him and led to the groundbreaking discovery of classical conditioning. Classical conditioning is a type of unconscious or automatic learning that's created by a conditioned response through associations between an unconditioned stimulus and a neutral stimulus. So in simple terms, classical conditioning involves placing a neutral stimulus, such as a bell, before a naturally occurring reflex in our body, such as salivating. So what Pavlov did is he started to ring a bell with the presentation of food. And he did this repeatedly and over time the dogs would learn that when the bell was rang, food would come there. So he started to only ring the bell and the dogs started to salivate waiting for their food. Funny thing is, you pet parents might already be using this experiment and you didn't even know it. In our house, for example, when my dogs hear the jingling of their leashes and their collars, they get so excited and they know they're going to go on a walk. And another example is if you say, do you want your food? Your dog starts sitting there waiting and salivating knowing the food is coming. So classical conditioning is used on a daily basis with us pet owners. So Pavlov's experiment with dogs really cracked the code how behaviors can be learned through association and how stimuli can elicit a response. So back then, a hundred years ago, he created this experiment, which really helps us today in human psychology. So in human psychology, classical conditioning is used to understand how our behaviors are altered due to our environmental neutral cues and stimuli. So let's get an example of this, right? It's getting pretty complicated. You might be following me, but here's an example. So let's say somebody sees an airplane and they're extremely scared of airplanes because they had a bad experience. Even the image of an airplane in a magazine has their heart rate going through the roof, which is a natural automatic response that happens when we see something fearful. But that was conditioned in that person because they had a bad experience. What other human behaviors are developed through classical conditioning. And one you probably didn't know about is phobias. So for my channel's purpose, people who have a phobia of dogs is something I see on a weekly basis. Or I hear about it through friends or a family member of someone who's scared of a dog because that dog bit them. So if they never got bit by the dog, where the dog is a neutral stimuli who could have been a friendly dog, they would have never been conditioned to be afraid of dogs. So I felt like that was super interesting when I was reading about Ivan Pavlov and his experiment and classical conditioning. So people who are scared of dogs can actually be reconditioned to like dogs if they start experiencing friendly behaviors with nice dogs or petting dogs um, or hearing a dog bark and it used to scare them, but now they have that relationship with a dog that's a happy one and their phobia can slowly go away. So I just love that about classical conditioning and it's used all the time in human psychology. All right guys, this was a fun video um, about human behavior and animal behavior and psychology. If your psychologist uses these techniques with you, please put that in the comments below and also put a comment if you've just learned about Ivan um, and his experiment in classical conditioning in one of your psychology classes in college. And like always, hit my subscribe button, hit the thumbs up to help my videos circulate, and I'll see you guys next week.